biggest feelings or benefits of joining the team is that we feel like we're no longer an island. I have been at um, my own chapter meetings before where someone has literally stood up with tears in her eyes and said, I've done this work for 20 years. This is the first time that I've ever met anybody who does the same thing that I do. It's a sense of community, it's a sense of belonging, it's a sense of networking. social media in the 19-teens, the 1920s, the 1930s, what they didn't have was this. One million geosynchronous satellites orbiting the Earth that can in a nanosecond send what you do here up there and then show the whole wide world what it is you've done, your principals have done, your principals' children have done. They create a third set of flavors that's better than the two were apart. That's the goal of wine and food pairing for every course that you're pairing a wine to. Today, we're here to talk about what a family office is, how it might evolve, and how estate managers' roles and their place in this modern family's life will change. And many of you know that the, the newspapers back then were ironed in the morning. It was, it was a two-fold purpose. One was to get the creases out, but one was that the ink was still fresh and it wasn't set. So that the gentleman, when he read the, the newspaper at breakfast, if the ink was not set, he would get it on his cuffs. So it, it helped to dry the ink. Do we do that today? No. But what do we do today? What are kind of the differences and some of the intricacies of moving someone who is a celebrity, you know, compared to just a high net worth person? Well, um, I know many of you probably work for high-profile people or have uh, or will, and um, I think the biggest thing is uh, their privacy. So my primary uh, concern was always to maintain their privacy, to uh, pack personally or supervise packing any sensitive information. So I don't want to see it on the front page of the New York Times. That's what I want to uh, uh, take care of myself. Uh, so you got to identify what is important to your clients, okay? What are the key issues that are going to drive this project? Because ultimately, as soon as you get information and issues happen, you're gonna to have to go back to that. Say, okay, what are, what are the primary objectives here? Okay, because you're not gonna get a low budget, amazing design and a fast schedule. It's not gonna happen. Matt and Mike, that serving hire is good. Look what they're doing with this association. And look who they brought together, the best of the best. The creme de la creme of the whole world is at this conference. 